morning, PT on Ice crowd. It is Monday, Memorial Day, Monday, May 27th. Happy Memorial Day. My name is Mike Eisenhardt. I am the lead faculty for the Prevention Health Promotion and Population Health Division of ICE. It is Monday, Memorial Day. Uh, like any other Monday, thought I would start the day with a little pop for those who are following along the conversation. So I am a little early this morning, typically 8.30 uh, is my roll time, but, um, but today I've got a busy day ahead of me. Got to chase some kids, watch some soccer, uh, you know, enjoy some freedom. And so I decided what I would do is uh, get on a little early this morning. So let me go ahead and start the clock. Looks like we've got a few people signing on. Uh, happy, uh, happy Memorial Day to you. Hey, Sean, good morning. So this morning, um, I talk, I'm, I'm talking from uh, our back office here, uh, ProActivity's back office. If you've ever been to base camp, you know we've got this building in the back. And uh, it's been a lot of things over the years. Uh, but we decided this year what we would do is begin to slowly shape it into our athletic club. So we sponsor an athletic club, and, uh, and uh, they are an awesome group of people who we are really proud to support. And so our, our goal over the course of this year is to, uh, to, to slowly and steadily give them a clubhouse, a place where they can train and meet and stay connected um, and do their thing. So we've been kind of slowly converting the back building, and today is kind of like the debut because Memorial Day, for those who follow along, uh, is a time to come together with friends and and one of the ways that, uh, that you know that the CrossFit community has led on this but one of the ways that people do this is by recognizing uh, the fallen heroes by by doing the Murph workout um, and the Murph workout is uh, as you can see uh, you know something that'll break a sweat and get you going I had to get it done early this morning not with the crowd but thought I would get going anyway um, so what that is is it's a, a mile run followed by 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 squats, and then another mile run, which is kind of a you know not not my style of workout typically. So a tough one. My legs were a little shaky by the end. My arms were definitely a little shaky by the end. Um, but something that uh, that we can do uh, to at least recognize and remember. And it got me thinking as I was doing it this morning in here, kind of like this back building. It's just very rough and. You know, as you can see, there's not a lot going on. I mean, we've got a rack and a flag, and that's about it. Um, and, but I can look outside, and I can see the blue sky, and I can hear the birds chirping a little bit. And as I ran, um, you know, again, if you know base camp, just down the little dirt road uh, that gets us around the corner on our running route here, um, I was able to see some animals, and it's early in the morning, and nobody's out and about, and it was just cool. And I got to thinking about really what today was supposed to be and how that could relate to population health and population health initiatives. And I think what I came up with um, was legacy. You know, it, for, for, uh, you know for, for, for me, and, and if you stop and think about it, it really is about legacy and, and that we're talking about legacy matters. And not only that these are matters of legacy, but that legacy does indeed matter. And that's one of the things that I think um, today can give us if we're willing. You know, if we're willing as, as, as you know, professionals, if we're willing as family members, friends, colleagues, if we're willing as Americans, you know, we're willing to stop for a second and remember uh, that we're talking today about legacy matters. And, you know, I think, you know, the obvious one, of course, is, is, is stopping and really reflecting on the people who have paid the ultimate sacrifice um, for something that they believed in. Now, you've heard me rail about this in the past, and you've heard me, you know, um, you know talk about it and mention it, and, and I've often thought about that, and, 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 and it's big to me, right? It's this idea that when you believe in something so deeply, so it's such a powerful part of who you are that you're willing to, to go to the mat for it, that you're willing to sacrifice everything, um, th that is an amazing, amazing idea and concept. And, of course, the soldiers who have given their life, and, uh, you know, nothing could be more... Uh, powerful than that. So, so, so that to me is, is, is the starting point of reflection. And although there's a certain part of me, quite honestly, that feels selfish, you know, that, that I, I often feel like, wow, those are selfless people. Those are people who gave everything, you know, and, and generations that are going to, you know, be touched by that because they gave everything. Um, I feel selfish as a person who's never served. And then I got to thinking about it and I started thinking about the people that I know who did serve and maybe what their legacy is, right? Um, they didn't have to pay the ultimate sacrifice, but they instill in all of us a belief system that, that this is important. They instill in all of us um, something that makes us want to drive forward when times get tough, something that makes us want to push into what we think is right. You know, I think of my grandfathers, Joe and Carl, both served, both saw active duty, my father, Tom. Um, you know, I think of, you know, my brother-in-law, Brian. I think of, you know, uh, people who are in this community, right? So, so Perry's husband, Michael, and, and, and of course our friend, Alan, 
you know, I mean, these are people, and, 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 and you know, I mean, Jeremy, and I mean, I can keep going and going and going, people who I'm, I'm definitely going to miss. I think of buddies who, um, you know, I played rugby with in college, uh, you know, guys like Jim and Eric. I mean, th these are guys who, you know, who served. Um, you know, these are, you know, Marines who came back and further education. We got to meet them and know them. But I think the thing that what that does is that that legacy carries over, you know, and there's a lesson there for all of us. Um, you know, there's something that pulled me out of bed this morning and had me want to do this brutal workout, which is, you know, not for fun. I mean, honestly, like, you know, it's easy to be fat and happy and lay in my bed and say, hey, you know what? I, that's good. I get to enjoy the, 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 the day because of someone else's sacrifice. But I'm not sure that honors the legacy. And, and, you know, the older I get, the more I start thinking about the fact that I think that's really what it is. So when we're talking about the health of society, the health of populations, we're often talking about the idea of leaving a legacy. You know, I, I sometimes talk about Stephen Covey. Stephen Covey talk, you know, talked about, you know, um, you know to, to, to live, to learn, to love, and to leave a legacy. Those were like the big L's, right? Live, learn, love, and leave a legacy. And I think today gives us a unique opportunity to just pause and do that and ask ourselves in every facet of our lives what legacy are we leaving are we willing to pay a price whatever that price is are we willing to sacrifice now not all of us i mean certainly guys like me are, are never going to be in a situation to leave the the pay the ultimate price and 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 i thank god for that but the truth is is that you know, even in times like now when we can, you know, in, in a time of life when thoughts and prayers aren't enough for most people, um, you know, that, that we can maybe pause for a second and reflect and look up. And if you believe in a higher power, say a prayer for peace, because that could be a legacy or for understanding, because that could be a legacy or for knowledge, because that could be a legacy or wisdom or if we really, really wanted to do it right for health. And I think that's kind of where, you know, I, I guess I wanted to go today. This idea that, that we all have a moment today, and hopefully you have the day off and you can spend time. And I know there are people that are going to be going into hospitals today and, and, and you know, they don't get holidays. And I understand that and I respect that fully. But maybe you can steal a minute, sometime just to pause and give yourself a little time out and ask yourself, does legacy matter to me? You know, is it worth it to me to slog through, to push through, to leave someone else behind me who's watching? Someone else behind me who's carrying the message. It may be your kid. It may be your child. Uh, it may be a loved one. It may not. It might just be the, the person who's over on the side of the building who sees you. And are we willing to do that as professionals? Are we willing to model and show daily what it means to be selfless, to sacrifice, to go that extra mile for our client, to be willing to push a little bit harder today even if we don't have to? You know, I think that is at, in many ways at the root of change. You know, that, that idea of there's something so moving, something so powerful about, you know, someone who goes completely to the mat for something they believe in. And, and I think we all have that capacity within us. And today gives us that chance to do it. You know, which is amazing. And, and I think it's a gift. It truly is a gift. It's not a day off. It's not about barbecues. You know, it's not about drinking beer. I mean, you know, listen, last night we were at my brother's house. I saw him, chi see him chime on there, you know, and having a great time celebrating his daughter's birthday and having a, you know, playing wiffle ball and, you know, and, and drinking and, and having a good time. But today we can take a minute and we can say, hey, you know what? It's about the legacy. It's about what are you leaving behind you? What is the wake behind you as a professional, as a person? And when those things meet, I think when those things come together, that's when we're doing our best work. That's when we are our happiest. That's when we are, are having the greatest impact. And honestly, that is at the root of change. And so I don't need to belabor it this morning. Um, you know, for those of you who are up early and awake and, and ready to attack the day, I don't have to belabor the point. But I think the, the point should be clear enough that every single moment of every single day, someone is watching us. And someone is going to hear the story of us and our generation and what we did. You know, we have a crisis on our hands. Now, some of that might be in, in the traditional sense, and yeah, there are conflicts around the world, and, and I certainly don't want to take anything away from that, but, but I don't know that world, I don't understand that world, and so I'm certainly not qualified to talk about it. But the world that I do know is what we often teach in, in, the, in, the, in the courses, right? I, I, you know, we use, for example, um, you know, a, a report that came out that said we have a national crisis, you know, that we can't put an army on the field uh, it, it, we are in a crisis. We don't have the, the health. We don't have the bodies to do it. That is a, a major concern, and that is a world that I know. 
I know it all too well. I've seen all aspects of it and all facets of it. And I think that that is something that, that, that on days like today, I redouble my effort. I recommit. You know, as I sat here by myself this morning and, and just kind of took it in, you know, right under that flag, you know, there, there's something deep inside of me that says, hey, we, we need to do this. We need to charge forward. There is something out there that we, all of us, can correct. We can, that can be our legacy. That the next generation can live stronger and fitter and healthier, and they can continue to protect our freedoms and our liberties. I mean, yeah, we've got it good. You know, I drove through a kind of a tough neighborhood yesterday with my daughter. We were going to a soccer game, and, and, and you could see she was kind of reconciling this. And she's a humble kid, and, I, and, and she said, man, this is, this is a different area. And I said, yeah, you know, this, this is a tougher town, tougher neighborhood. Just be thankful for everything you've got. And, and I think that that, like hearing that echoed in my own brain. Because I sometimes think we rush so fast in life that we don't, you know, take the time to be thankful for what we've got. Well, today is that day. Take that time. Be thankful for what you've got. Be thankful that someone out there went forward when it would have been easier to go backward. It would have been easier to not push into danger, but they did for all of us. And so here we are today enjoying our freedom enjoying our liberties, having the chance to complain about the fact that, that the communities aren't as healthy as we want them to, having the fact that I can get on live first thing in the morning, you know, that I can choose to punish myself with a workout instead of waking up and wondering what kind of punishment the world is going to have to. I know I am thankful for that, and I hope you are too. But I hope you have a minute today to, to, to ask yourself, what will the legacy be? Because if the legacy has anything to do with leaving behind you a world that was better than you found it, that health is by far one of the greatest opportunities that we have on all fronts. And you can do it starting today. It can be started right now today. You can do it by yourself. You know, you can go out and run a mile today if that's something you haven't done in a while. You can do it with your family. You can, you can impress upon them how powerful this stuff can be and how much more powerful the people watching them will be because they've seen it. You can talk to your patients. You can talk to your friends. You can bring it to your department. You can do whatever you want. But the bottom line is that can be your legacy. That can be our legacy. So I think that that's where I want to leave it today. With three minutes left and I got to jet out the door, go get home and get a shower and get to a soccer game. But the truth of the matter is, is that that is the opportunity we are presented today. It is a unique opportunity and one that we shouldn't, you know, we shouldn't look, uh, look over quickly. We shouldn't you know, blast right through it and, and get to the barbecue today. We should pause for a second. And remember, legacy matters. It matters in everything that we do. It's how we model it. It's how we carry ourselves. And it's where we go from here. And if we can honor even the slightest bit the people who have laid themselves down for our freedoms and our liberty, then we are doing some service and justice to the world, and we are leaving the, the place better than we found it. And that is an amazing, amazing attitude and contribution that we all can make, and we can do it starting today. There's a lot to come. There's a lot to come. We got the summer move around the corner. Look for that. There, you know, a lot of little things going to happen. You're going to have your chance. This year, if you play along, you're going to have your chance to leave a legacy in your hometown, in your community, in your clinic, in whatever, your hospital. You'll have your chance if you so desire. Okay? Uh, the, the rising tide is before you know it. You want to get together and find another band of people who can put their arms around you and say, yeah, you know, if you believe in that, it's that somewhere deep in your heart. We know it's not for everybody. Not everybody gets you know, jacked up in the morning and wants to get up and get after it. We know that. Some people just want to be left alone. Okay, that's fine. But if somewhere in you, if there's something in you that says, hey, you know, we've got to do more, we've got to do better, we've got to leave a legacy, a legacy of health in the world that we found, we've got to leave it better than we found it, then, then, then you know, think seriously about that. Get with us. Get with us. Because there are people everywhere in every corner of the states today who are going to be doing something to try to push forward and do better. And if that's you and that resonates with you, then we want you as part of our team and our band. So there's more to come. It is only Monday. There's lots going on. It is only Monday. To those of you that are going to hit the workout this morning, good luck. Enjoy. I know I took it nice and slow and steady and savored it. You'd be surprised how you can savor a little bit of pain. I was here by myself. I savored it. I hope you'll savor it too. I hope you'll have a minute like I did today to think seriously about why you are here and what you are leaving behind you. And if it has anything to do with the health of society, then just know that I applaud you and I thank you. I thank everyone who's family, friends. If you know somebody who laid down their life for our freedoms and our liberty, I thank you every single day, but most importantly today. It is only Monday. It is only Monday. Make it count.
Hey, thanks for tuning in to the PT on Ice Daily Show. If you enjoyed this content, head on over to iTunes and leave us a review. And be sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram at the Institute of Clinical Excellence. If you're interested in getting plugged into more ICE content on a weekly basis while earning CEUs from home, check out our virtual ICE online mentorship program at ptonice.com. While you're there, sign up for our Hump Day Hustling newsletter for a free email every Wednesday morning with our top five research articles and social media posts that we think are worth reading. Head over to ptonice.com and scroll to the bottom of the page to sign up.